How's it going, everybody? Zab here, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Hockey Ultimate Team update series that I'm doing every single Monday. I'm updating my team and showing you guys all the new players that I got uh, from that last week. Now, I actually got a lot of players you might be able to see down in the uh, scratched roster down there. I might be able to see a couple of Hut Live cards I got. Got some really good players, and I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and show you them. But first, if you haven't seen last week's episode, go ahead and click the link in the description down below to go see that. But uh, this is what my team looked like as of last week. Not bad, definitely a step up from the week before, but uh, still wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. So we'll go ahead and just uh, show you my defense here, and we'll show you the goaltending, and let's just go to the fourth line and go over to my team as of now. And uh, you're gonna see right off the bat, there's quite a bit of changes going on right there we got hut live brooks orpic now i had the normal brooks orpic and i bought him for like 12k or something like that so uh not a big amount i just had it laying around and i wasn't going to open any packs i wasn't going to do anything with it and uh, i like uh, brooks orpic i have him on all my teams i had him on my uh, nhl 13 hut team uh, he's just a really solid defensive defenseman as you can see uh, he doesn't have the best uh, shot or the best skating he does definitely does not have the best hands with 78 but checking is 90 and defense is 88 he's just a really good defensive defenseman so i put him next to james wisniewski the offensive defenseman now i want to get a new offensive defenseman and uh i have some ideas of who i want that maybe you might see next week if i can save up enough I'm not going to name who it is but a pretty damn good offensive defenseman uh, we'll just we'll just see. We'll have to see. But the fourth line is Jamie Ben, it's Jason Spezza, and uh, I pulled up T.J. Oshi. I had Oshi on my team, but he was injured, and I decided to go ahead uh, get some injury cards in him and put him on my fourth line. And my third line has changed quite a bit. You see, I got Vincent Lacavalier right there at center. Picked him up for around 15k. Uh, on the right wing, I picked up Hut Live Jordan Eberly. And then Mike Ribeiro, who was at center, I moved him to the left wing, and now I just have to get a, uh, a change change position to left wing. I don't quite have enough pucks yet. I have like 2K. I need around 3 to 4K to get that. So I'll save up for that, change him permanently to the left wing, and that will be 99 chemistry on the third line. Uh, I picked up Le Cavalier because uh, a couple reasons. Uh, one, I just had the pucks laying around, just like the Brooks Orpic uh, one. Another reason that I got him is because he's pretty good at face-offs. I think he might have been 84. Five, I believe and so the hut live card is plus two to everything so he should be 87 uh, so I, I picked him up for that reason along with he's just he's just good pretty much everywhere I mean 86 for skating 87 for shot 88 for hands 88 for checking 87 for defense he's just a, a very well-rounded player he's not amazing necessarily in any category but he's just he's just a really uh, well-rounded player I'm trying to get the words out of my mouth uh, Everly, I, I bought him just for his uh, his offense, for sure. 86 for skating, not fantastic, but 89 for his shot and 90 for his hands. Uh, just loved his offensive stats. So far, he hasn't actually gotten any goals or assists, so zero points. He's played maybe seven games with me and hasn't got anything really for it, but he has got a lot of good chances. He's got robbed a couple of times, and I uh, haven't played with him too much, like I said, but so far I've enjoyed it. Move to the oh yeah and then defensively I think this was the same as last week uh, same players I don't remember if I moved them up or down the line but uh, Bieska and Brian Campbell both two good defensemen on my second line I moved Patrice Bergeron down to the second line for a couple of reasons one uh, because I might I think I like my first line center that I picked up this week better than Bergeron second of all I'm also giving away Bergeron so I figured move him down to my second line. And then I'll probably end up playing a couple games without him just to kind of get used to not having Bergeron in the lineup. Because like I said, I'm giving him away for Christmas, for the Christmas giveaway. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. Or click the annotation on the screen right now and you can go enter that. Very, very easy. Giving him away on Christmas. So as long as it's not Christmas Day for you, it's definitely not too late to enter the giveaway. I have Joe or Johansson, Johansson whatever on the second line right wing all this is the same skinner on the left wing that's the same uh, i think headman and bogosian were on my first line d pairings last week they're now on my second and are you ready for this boom second line hut live ryan kessler now in the entry video for the uh, christmas giveaway i asked you guys to tell me if i should get hut live kessler or a gabrick and a lot of you guys actually i thought everyone was going to say gabrick but a lot of you guys said kessler uh, and then i looked back today and i counted it and most people as of now 
or as of when I'm recording this video, most people said Gabrick, uh, including Don't Be Sod 20. I asked him on Twitter. He said get Gabrick for sure. Uh, and that was my plan. That was all my intentions. But I had 70K or 80K in the bank. And I was looking at the market. And I saw Kessler up for a buy now of 70,000. So I decided that's a pretty good price for Kessler. He goes, you know, right now I think he's going for around 80 to 90. Uh, he was going around like 60 to 70 when the Mega Pack was out or whatever, and his price has been gradually increasing day by day. So I decided 70K, that's a good price. He's probably not going to be going for that cheap, uh, you know, in the future, in the near future at least. So I decided to just pick him up. Why the hell not? I picked, I, it was between, like I said, Kessler and Gabrick. Gabrick's a right wing sniper, Kessler is a center two way forward. Now I picked. Kessler for a couple of reasons the biggest one being price but uh, you know not including price the reason that I wanted Kessler over Gabrick was Kessler as far as skating goes is a 90 Gabrick is a 90 so that's the same the shot for for uh, I'm trying to remember for Kessler I think is an 89 or an 87 or an, is it an 87 88 or 89 I don't know it's somewhere in there he's boosted right now so I have no clue but he's, I think he's just one or two off from, from Gabrick. Very comparable for offensive stats, at least. And Gab or, uh, Kessler has way better checking and way better defense. So, And he's really good at face-offs. So I decided just to pick him up. And then uh, these two guys are the same. I also picked up Brooks Orpik. Oh, yeah, you saw Brooks Orpik on the fourth line, eh? Yeah, so Brooks Orpik, he's the same goaltending, all the same. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and name a captain. Like I said, I have Bergeron down here. He's my alternate. He used to be my captain, now my alternate. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and name a captain. I'm trying to decide on the fly. And uh, yeah, I think I made my decision. Apply consumable. Congratulations, Ryan Kessler. You are now the official captain of this team. Bumps him up to a 97. Uh, once those boosts go away, he should be a 91. Once all the boosts are gone, I think I might have six or seven, five games left on the duration. So there you go. The new official captain for this team is Ryan Kessler. Alternate so far is Bergeron. And then once he leaves, I'll have to name someone else an alternate. And I'm thinking about next week. My goal is to get uh, some defensemen, like I said earlier in the video, bump up the, um, the, the D pairings a little bit. Because right now it's looking a little weak. Orpik's a good defenseman. These two are pretty good. But uh, everyone else is just, really everyone is just a little mediocre, uh, other than Orpic, who's really, really good defensively. So that's my goal for next week. I forgot uh, last week to show you guys my record. My team record is 210, 67, and 10. Again, a lot of those are offline games and offline tournaments just to get pucks. But as far as online for the Hut seasons here, we are, let me see, load up, 59, 45, and 7. Not horrible. Last 10 games are 5, 4, and 1 in this season. Season 13, we are 2, 0, and 1 with 7 games remaining in the third division with 5 points. Our uh, projected projected spot for season 13 is the division 3 title, so hopefully we can make it there. And, yeah, so that's going to be this team update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me who you think I should get defensively. Uh, I'm thinking of spending maybe upwards of uh, at least – I'm thinking at least 50K to around 70, 80K at most. That's what I'm looking to spend. So anywhere from 50 to 80K, tell me what defenseman I should get. I don't care if he's a two-way or an offensive or defensive defenseman. Just uh, tell me who you think I should get defensively and I will definitely take that into consideration. So guys, thank you as always for watching. I am Zab. I just confused up those words. Thank you for watching. As always, I am Zab. I'll see you next time.